Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII Part 24. I'm Anubis from Anubis of Let's Plays and also from Sensor Productions. We last took off, we saw Uritan Yensa just get turned to dust by the queen of their tribe or something for asking for our help. So the ungrateful little snob went and killed him. That rogue Uritan, he wouldn't have been happy back with his clan, I'm sure of it. That flower, it's rare to see one blooming in the sand sea, Kupo. Maybe the treasure that he found was this? So the treasure we get is a flower? A rogue Uritan flower. A bunch of berries hangs from the flowers. Yes, let's pick them. S. Ek berry. A curious item detested by the avian known as the Garuda. I say we hold on to that. I can't remember if it's actually got any relevance or use to us, but hey, I'll hold on to it, just in case. Alright, so, let us continue on with our journey. Where we last took off, we, well, did that little side quest. We also escaped out of the Ogier Yensa Sansi, I believe it is. And now we're in the Nat Yensa Sansi. Technically, we're still in the Sansi, but we're going to be exiting this place soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. So... I'm sure you don't want to see me do all this stuff like in the last time, so I'm going to cut ahead where I've actually cleared everything out. So, be right back. After traversing for what seemed like, what, 20 minutes, I finally found the urn. Jeez. So, all we have to do is touch it. Poof. Floats up into the air, and it contains a map of the Nam Yensa Sensi. Alright, so this is where it is. There you go, that's what it is on the mini-map. Or it shows where I am. It's right there. There. Anyhow, um, if you can see right there, the yellow sands or something, there appears to be an arrow there. That indicates that some area in another region or something can lead onto this, into the yellow sands in that little shaded area that I haven't been to. Um, that indicates for some special hunts, usually, or for a mini boss or something like that. So that was just on a side note. Furthermore, I would like to say, or I would like to say, I actually got some items. One was that, just then I got the leather gorget, or gorget, whatever it is. Battle harness as well, I got one of those. Um, also, for Pinello, I found a chopper. Get to the chopper! No, I'm joking. Um, she has her assassin's dagger, but I actually got lucky and found this. This is a really good dagger. Um, the chopper is decently strong, and on hit it can cause sap. Sap pretty much drains the opponent's health. So, if you've ever seen a boss and they're, like, not immune to it, then it's actually very good to put on them. Of course, though, it's a sort of a rare chance to put on, but if you do get to put it on, then hooray, congratulations, you've earned brownie points. Anyhow, um, I will be right back. I will meet you at the area where we have to go, which is... over there. Trail of the Fading Warmth. Yeah, so we have to head all the way over there. So, be right back. Alright people, I'm back. So pretty much I've gotten everyone optimized for the upcoming, I guess, temple place, which is the King Rayfall's tomb. And I'm happy with how things are going at the minute. Uh, nearly everyone's 17, just this group isn't their one level down, but that doesn't matter because, of, I don't know, I'm happy with the way they are at the minute. Anyhow, I spent all their licenses, so they've got some extra MP buffs, such as channeling and all that sort of stuff, which means reduced cast time, reduced MP cost of moves, which is really good. Anyhow, um, when you get near the end of the area, which I'll show you on the map in a second, you've got these guys. And they sell you these two items, which are sort of pointless because I've already gotten them. And I got unlucky because I believe if you kill the Axe Beaks, which are the sort of evolved cockatrice, I guess, uh, it has a chance of dropping a Sirius, I believe. And a Sirius is a gun for Balthier or any other person, which is really good. Unfortunately, though, I haven't gotten it, and I really can't be bothered farming for it. But um, I've gotten everything I need, so look at all the guild that I got spare. But the thing is, is you sort of need this skill. All I'm going to say is you're going to need it. Especially for what's about to happen. So, let's go. Let's do this. And thus, we have finally made it. Now it says you will have the option of saving your game. Do it. 
That's all I'm gonna say is do it. If you don't, you're an idiot. No offense, but I mean, the last save crystal is like what back in the Ogier Yense. If you went and saved there, or back at the beginning of the Ogier Yense. So you want to save? You definitely want to save. All I'm gonna say is that, and make sure that you're fully healed as well. So you can probably tell what I'm hinting at. And then we have a nice CGI cutscene of a pan of King Rayfall's tomb. For a tomb, that's pretty big. Don't aren't tombs like little gravestones? They're like tiny. Oh well. Anyhow, look at that. That that's really good. Like the way they've made that and positioned it. Anyhow, here comes the fun part. Meet the Bosca Ruda. Yes, so if you actually remember, these Escaberries said it was something like a curious item by an avian known as the Garuda. That is the Garuda. Now, you know what the funny part is? Oh, guess what? Your weapons can't hit unless you've got ranged weapons. So, what are you gonna do? If you don't have any ranged weapons, cast. I'm pretty sure it's weak against either thunder or water or something like that. Anyhow, we will see. So just keep spamming your caster moves. And might I just say watch out because it does a hell of a ton of damage. Look, what do you know? Ugh. Okay, let's have you cast again. And you cast again too. So the damage you do on it's actually quite good. Just the fact is is that it you know Unfortunately, deals a lot of damage, and you can ooh. Why did I just relate something to a wild term? I don't know why. Yeah, anyhow, you run out of MP fast. And if you are wondering, no, I don't play the game. I just used to, though. Alright, so keep attacking it, and it should eventually go down. Fingers crossed that I don't have any problems with it. Uh, Pinello, you can use Phoenix down. By the way, the Phoenix Downs I didn't buy, that was actually from farming all those, um, Yensa people thingamajigs. Heal, heal, heal. Ben. Ah, oh, goddammit. Alright, so it looks like... Where are you going? Where are you going? Hello? Birdie? Birdie boy. Alright, come back here. Um, you can use another Phoenix down. Now we can just keep bashing at it. Water, and then use Blizzard. Telekinesis, Kago, Vossler. Yes! Just in time to save Vossler. And it stops flapping and disappears. Well, wasn't that very exciting, people? And of course, after defeating a boss, <laughs> man just bites into some fruit. You serious? Is that what you call a pose? And Franz just biting her arrow again. Vossler's standing like a knight, and Pinello's doing something. She dropped a dagger. Dude, that's a good dagger. I got you that. You don't drop your weapon, woman. Anyhow, so we defeated the Garuda. Hmm. Ooh, shiny. I wonder what happens if you touch it. Ancient device stirs. Ay, 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 ay. All right. So, looks like we've made it. Long ago. The gods granted their favor to King Wraithwall, who would oversee the subjugation of a vast territory spanning from Mordalia to Valendia. Here, he forged the Galtean Alliance. 
Though he is called the Dynast King, upon establishing the Alliance, he demonstrated compassion for his people and disdain for needless war. A philosophy passed on to his successors, one that would bring peace and prosperity for hundreds of years to follow. It was during this time of peace that the city-states of Arcadia and Rosaria, each members of Wraithwall's alliance, took root and flourished. Wraithwall left three relics signifying descent from the Dynast King. Of these, the Midlight Shard was given to what would become House Nebradia, and the Dusk Shard to my ancestors, the founders of Dalmasca. The last of these relics was the Dawn Shard. It remained hidden here, known only to those of royal blood. As though the Dynast King foresaw the very plight before us now. None save descendants of the King are suffered within. If we attempt to enter without proof of such lineage... There's no guarantee we'll make it out alive. Vicious beasts, fiendish traps, something like that. Yep. Mm-hmm. But you must consider the prize. The Dawn Shard lies within, and Wraithwall's treasure. And there was I, thinking this was going to be hard. Ha ha ha. Oh god, alright, so, if you noticed, it's a gay crystal here, so if you want to do some hunts or anything such as that, you can do that if you would like. I don't know, I might, I'm not sure, I'm probably going to focus on the storyline, like I said, on one of my other parts. But anyhow, I have gained a lot of levels since we've entered this place, like for each character, probably 4 plus. So that's really good. I'm happy with that. But um, anyhow, let's head down here. And it's these guys again. You, you killed the avian? Amazing! And this, I've never seen such a magnificent structure. It looks like some sort of tomb. The wealth it would take to build such a thing. Think of the treasure it must hold. And a horde of ravenous monsters. I don't doubt. Me, I value life over loot. I go no farther. But should you find something, I'm sure I could be persuaded to part with you, Gilfred. And if you need aught, of course, I'm your man. Right, so, I'm pretty sure they have new items. Yes, here we go, so... Here we have the introduction of some more weapons, for example, the spear. This is why I said, save your money, people! So, she can hold that. Axes, very strong, quite inaccurate, I wouldn't really get it, but it's up to you, of course. Kill bow, you already got equipped it, you already got that sword. I uh, don't need that, don't need that. Yes, new sword, ancient sword. That's what I said you can get on the Dreadnought Leviathan. That's a chance to petrify, which is pretty good, I gotta admit. Uh, Vega's a new gun. Can't equip, damn it. Longbow, can't equip either. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Of course, we have some new armor, which we can get. Um, first off, let's check magic. Anything for magic? Ooh, looks like there is. Ah, we got Berserk. Berserk is a fantastic move. It's great if you want someone to beat the crap out of everyone, but anyhow. Um, looks like I'm going to need to get some more license points. So, and a bit more money as well, which is going to suck, but um... Okay, round shield and barbet and all that. Okay, um, first I'll optimize van, I guess. Alright, Van's decked out in his gear, so he's pretty much set, and you, I want you to have Longbow, you, I want you to have Vega, you've got Ancient Sword, okay, you should all have your weapons, so weapons are done, but anyhow, I'm probably going to have to cut it off here, so I might grind for a little bit more, just to get the money to buy everything, so, I'm Nervous from the Solace Players, from CNC Productions, you have been watching Let's Play Final Fantasy XII Part 24. I'll see you next time on Part 25, where we will enter King Wraithwall's tomb to find the Dawn Shard. So, have a fantastic day, and goodbye.